Hello guys, today I have a new infrared camera for review by Kaiwitz company, which is based in China. The specific company requests from me a honest review, and as always I gladly accept it. This particular model KTIW01 is the cheapest product line of the three devices that the company has. As you can see on the company side it is around $300. Now let's start the video, open the box and see what we have inside. The first thing we find as soon we open the box is as always instructions, which has several pages and describes everything in detail. The next thing we see is a 5V 2 amps charger and high quality type C cable. Finally, we came to the toolbox or protector bag of the camera. On the label of the device you can see the resolution of thermal camera, which is 256 by 192 pixels and temperature range from minus 20 to 550 Celsius or minus 4 Fahrenheit to 1022 Fahrenheit. The first quality impression that the tool gives me is a quite decent construction. With early hard screen protection glass, rubber buttons, charging input with Type-C plug and 3500 mAh removable lithium battery. The non-detachable protective cap of the live and infrared cameras is very practical and important for the protection of the lenses. Also, a very good decision from the company is to put the live camera very close to the thermal one, to make a very good blending of images from both cameras. The shutter has two modes, one is instant press to take picture and the long press to record a video which is very convenient to take quick photo or video. Note that the internal memory of this device reaches at 32GB, which is huge storage memory in video and photo files. Now let's start the device from the power button. After a few seconds on the screen we see three indications. In the middle one show us the emic point temperature, 
The red indication shows us the highest point temperature and green indication shows us the lowest point temperature. Right now we see through the live camera. As soon as I press the button on the left I activate the thermal camera at 100% and as soon as I press it again it starts to blend it to images by the percentage so that I can see what I am aiming for. Now let's go to the menu to see what options we have there. The first option is image correction. Image correction is a live camera and thermal camera calibration. Because two cameras have a little distance between them, in some close points this correction must be calibrated. On the second line we have photos option, in which we have stored photos that we have captured from the device. In the third line we have the videos option, in which we have stored videos from the device. The frame rate of the camera is surprisingly very good compared to other thermal cameras. Here you can see the summer temperatures of the Cyprus under the sun. Next line is color palette. Here we can play with the colors of the temperatures. The next option is Emissivity. In this option we must select the surface that we want to scan to have the most correct indication as possible. And in the last line we have setting option which contains some more options. Auto shutdown, brightness, language, units, temperature range, time format, time set, spot and version. Now about the device I can recommend it easily, because it has good build quality, it is plug and play device, it has removable and rechargeable battery, it has quite large screen, a lot of storage memory and very good frame rate. 
The only thing that bothers me personally and I will ask from the company to make an extra macro lens that clips into the lens of the main camera so that I can see and troubleshoot the small SMD electronic components of the circuit boards, like in the Inthiray P2 Pro thermal camera, which has an extra macro lens which you can use it for very small components. Now I will make you a test video on this specific circuit so you can see the difference between the macro lens and symbol lens. As you can see the difference is huge. You can see the point even without the macro lens but it is very difficult to find the exact point of the heating. Now someone will ask me why not to get tiny Ethereum P2 Pro camera? The answer is simple. It is depends from the work everyone does. If someone is electrician and want to scan power distribution panels or someone who wants to scan for moisture leaks, it is ready to go out of the box. As soon as we take it out and press the start button we are ready. Also we don't want any software installation and no smartphone. So that's it for today guys and see you in the next video.